August 15, 2021 was a beautiful day with great weather. So 44-year-old Rachel Hawes decided to take her dad and head for a fun day at the Cedar Point Amusement Park. She simply wanted to have some fun and relive the beautiful memories from her childhood when her dad used to take her there on weekends. She didn't even mind the 117-mile drive from her hometown Swartz Creek in Michigan to the famous park in Sandusky, Ohio. Rachel was not on any of the rides when the disaster occurred. She was standing on the ground in the notorious Thrill Dragster roller coaster waiting area, patiently and joyfully waiting her turn, when suddenly a metal object smashed into her head. Her screams were extremely loud and terrifying, but short, as she immediately passed out. Blood was pouring out of her head like a fountain. The Cedar Point Amusement Park in Sandusky, Ohio, is a place that prides itself on being a super family-friendly destination and a must-do for adults and children alike. It is home to 70 stunning world-class rides, including five adrenaline-pumping roller coasters like Steel Vengeance, Top Thrill Dragster, and Millennium Force. It boasts a bit of something for every thrill seeker and has been around for a very long time. In fact, it is the second oldest still operational theme park in America. No wonder Rachel loved that place. She frequented it since her childhood and far too many of her best memories are associated with Cedar Point. She was young at heart and even at the age of 44, she would often insist on dragging her father Robert to the park for fun during weekends even though it was 117 miles away. It never occurred to her that one day her beloved park would cause her so much pain and suffering, effectively turning her life in a battle for survival. She wasn't even riding the majestic Thrill Dragster roller coaster when she was hurt. She was merely waiting in line for her turn by the gate. But destiny is tricky, and the ride found a way to harm Rachel. The Top Thrill Dragster was opened in 2003 and proved to be a major hit from day one. It was the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world, but those records were surpassed in 2005 by the Kingda Car Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. The massive ride is supposed to give the riders the same experience of being behind the wheel of a drag race car. It is so powerful it shoots the train in the blink of an eye before sprinting straight up a 90 degree incline to the top hat at 420 feet high in mere seconds. The dragster achieves the mad speed of 120 miles per hour in merely 3.8 seconds. The thrill and adrenaline rush are simply a guarantee. Hundreds of people are often gathered at its gate waiting to get their fix and they never have to worry about waiting for too long because the ride can handle up to 900 riders per hour. Nevertheless, from its early days, the Thrill Dragster was plagued by issues that led to its frequent closings as the park grappled with its advanced, complicated hydraulic system. In 2004, four riders were stuck by metal debris from a metal cable during the launch. None of the injuries were life-threatening, and in 2016, two guests were injured when the launch cable detached from the coaster. The injuries, again, were not serious. However, all that changed on August 15th, 2021. On that day, the ride nearly killed Rachel Hawes. At 4.30 p.m., Rachel was waiting in line for the top thrill dragster roller coaster at Cedar Point Amusement Park. She watched in awe as the train zipped like lightning to the top and was about to begin to descend downwards. Everything seemed to be fine. And suddenly, she felt immense excruciating pain in her head as blood covered her hands and face. Little did she know a piece of heavy metal about the size of a person's hand snapped off the ride's train just as it began its descent and flew tens of feet away and hundreds of feet downwards, straight towards her head. It struck her violently. Her screams were loud and terrifying. People around her didn't know what happened and feared for their lives, so they began running away from the area and even jumping over the ride's launch waiting area gate. A woman who saw the piece of metal detach off the train and hit Rachel on the head began yelling that someone had been hurt. Others joined her in the call for help. At some point in its descent, the metal bracket, which is known as flag plate, 
which is attached to the back of each train and acts as a sensor to help the operating system monitor vehicles on the track, came in contact with the coaster's tracks, dislodged, and struck poor Rachel in the head while she was happily waiting in line. Registered nurse David Vallow was also waiting in line to the Thrill Dragster ride. He rushed to aid Rachel. He even took off his shirt and tried to use it to stop the bleeding. Deep inside, he knew that her injuries were too severe and kept frantically looking around for a sign of an ambulance. A minute later, the park's paramedics came rushing to the scene with their first aid kits. Soon, firefighters and an ambulance arrived. Rachel was rushed to the Firelands Medical Center with an unknown type of head injury and later transported to St. Vincent's Hospital in Toledo. For two whole days, even the media could not get the story right. Some people speculated online that she was dead, while others said her head was severed in the incident. There was simply too much confusion, and her family was the private type. At the end of the first 48 hours of the ordeal, her family finally reached a statement saying that their beloved daughter Rachel is in intensive care in critical condition. A week later, her family said in another statement that Rachel remains in the hospital's intensive care unit in critical condition with a serious brain injury. They were simply devastated and asked for some privacy. Right after the incident, the Thrill Dragster was shut down and the investigations began. According to the theme park prior to the accident, the top Thrill Dragster was last inspected by the state on May 14th of the same year and no major issues were found. However, according to insiders, some issues with the ride were found and immediately addressed to bring the ride into compliance. Those changes included hydraulic upgrades, a hydraulic propulsion system upgrade, and repairs to black cherry car number two. According to reports by the state's inspection team, those upgrades were made and the ride was ruled compliant on May 15th. The Amusement Ride Safety Division of the Ohio Department of Agriculture took the lead in a six-month investigation of the Rachel Hawes incident and concluded that the park did not violate the law and that the incident was just that, an unfortunate incident. The investigators conducted a post-accident inspection of the ride, interviewed Cedar Point staff and reviewed thousands of pages of maintenance records, witness reports and lab reporting. They simply did not find any bases or proof to proceed with pressing charges. But a major question still lingers. What caused some of the bolts holding the L-shaped bracket to fall off and when? Because these missing bolts led the piece of metal to dangle low and hit the track violently before snapping off and landing on Rachel's head. The top thrill dragster is still temporarily closed. According to the long 630 pages report by the state investigators, they found multiple bolts in the brake framework to be different or of improper grade. Yet they did not assume that the missing bolts from the bracket that nearly killed Rachel to also be potentially different or of improper grade, which would explain why the incident happened in the first place. The whereabouts of Rachel are unknown, but according to experts, she's probably being treated in a long-term facility and is probably facing an uphill battle. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time we upload a new video that will take you to the heart of the scenes and mysteries of some of the most terrifying incidents, accidents, disasters and paranormal events from around the world.